Okay, last night in Dalton was insane. First, the village trustees had to freeze the village's credit cards because things are going out of control. Uh, motion to approve an ordinance amending the village credit card policy. Um, B, a motion to approve an ordinance declaring a village credit card spending freeze. The trustees also are trying to sell some of the village's property to raise funds. At the end of the day, we have to be realistic. Realistic is there's no more money. Anything we can sell, we need to sell it. If you want to get outside, we'll sell you too. The trustees are even returning all the lease vehicles that Tiffany Hinyard got so she can ride around in style. The leases we spend roughly, uh, it started in 2022, December 2022, all of 2023, and we're in the middle of 2024. We've spent almost uh, 250 some odd thousand dollars on these vehicles. If we keep the lease for the six, uh, the five years, which is 60 months, we will be spending $718,000. That's with the cost of and interest. We cannot afford that. So um, I'm asking that we look into uh, the legal ramification of returning the vehicles because most of them were uh, signed without proper authority anyway. Um, so my discussion is to place this for a committee as a whole to move forward and looking to see how we can return those three Chevy Tahoes in one expedition. The village board even had to lay off a whole bunch of employees because there's no money to make payroll. All right. So the layoffs, uh, the layoffs are due to financial issues that the village of Dalton has. Um, I did mention already that managers who may have spoken up asked that we do not include their names for fear of retaliation. Uh, so there's uh, so trying to um, insinuate that Freeman is the one that gave us this incorrect. This came, this decision came about because our finance uh, our finance consultant, the CPA firm, let us know that we are in dire need and layoffs need to happen. This is a uh, I hate to say this because I don't want to cause a big panic, um, but this is a starting point. And Tiffany Hinyard's right hand man has flipped and become a whistleblower against the mayor. Henyard is planning to fire her top aide, Keith Freeman, who pleaded not guilty earlier this year to a bankruptcy fraud charge. Last month, Henyard fired him from Thornton Township, the other government she runs. But the trustees say they won't allow tonight's firing to happen because they say Freeman is doing the village's work and they now consider him to be a whistleblower. And those trustees say firing a potential whistleblower sets them up for yet another lawsuit. And that is something the village simply cannot afford. So we have a lot to talk about. Now, many of you know I was a cop, a prosecutor, law professor, and now a legal commentator here on YouTube. And my cases have been covered in the national media, like this story in the New York Times. Now, many people message me asking me for legal help, so I gathered the best legal team in the country to help you. Now, if you've been injured in an accident, visit us at natethelawyer.com or contact us at 571-NATE-LAW. We handle many different types of cases, from hair relaxers that contain harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, or if you're a first responder who is using the aqueous film forming foam that's been linked to cancer, you should contact us as soon as possible. Now, we specialize in accidents, medical malpractice, and defective drugs and products. So why choose my firm? Well, the consultation is free, the advice is free, and we only get paid if we recover on your behalf. Our experts will guide you through the process and simplify everything to make it easy for you to understand. So visit natethelawyer.com or call the number on the screen to speak to a legal professional today. Okay, welcome to the village of Dalton, Illinois, population 21,000 people. This is a story I've been covering for about a year now, and this story has just gone insane. Meet the mayor, Tiffany Hinyard. Now, Tiffany Hinyard has been called the worst mayor in America. Now, before she was mayor, Tiffany was running a burger joint. Here is the intro to my last video that kind of sums up her transition from running a burger joint and food truck to becoming the most powerful woman in the south side of Chicago. Hi, Shark. I'm Tiffany Henyard from Chicago, Illinois. I'm currently the owner of Tiffany's Good Burger and Soul Food located at 
634 Burnham in Calumet City, Illinois. Our phone number is 708-801-9980. And for those who are trying to find us, you can track our food truck or follow us on Twitter. Just go to our website, loveagoodburger.com. Again, that is loveagoodburger.com. Now you know that's not fair sneaking up on a man when he's eating a Tiffany juicy burger. But seeing that you're here, let me just fill you in. When a man get to hold a burger like this in his hand, this is like heaven. A few moments later. Congratulations, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Sworn in is Dalton's first female mayor at 37. She's also Dalton's youngest. Well, we're moving on now. So the new mayor went on a spending spree. Everything from having her own stylist. Questions are also being raised about Henyard using taxpayer dollars for personal expenses, including her makeup artist. This itemized payroll sheet for the township from May of last year lists Brandon Molman as an administrative assistant. But when we reached out to him, he told us he's Henyard's makeup artist. Now, because the money is obviously funny, the FBI then started investigating and sent subpoenas to Dalton to find out what's going on with these public funds. WGN Investigates has obtained or reviewed subpoenas the FBI served to Thornton Township and Dalton. They serve as a roadmap to the ongoing federal investigation. They seek payment and expense records for Tiffany Henyard, as well as her boyfriend, who runs a violence prevention program for the township, also named Henyard top aide, Dalton's acting police chief, along with four village and township trustees and two of Henyard's relatives who were on the government payroll. So now it's important to note that when Tiffany Henyard became mayor, the village had a surplus, but now the village has a monster deficit. It's so bad that they may not be able to make payroll before the end of September. Do you understand that? They don't have enough money to pay police, firefighters, and everyone who works in the village to keep the town running. They don't have enough money to make payroll through the end of September. That's the first big bombshell that came out at last night's meeting. Now we're forced to sit here and take money out of account that we really shouldn't be taking money out of because we at that rainy day part. Well, we're barely going to see if we can make payroll through the end of September. So while everybody's sitting up here talking about we've been lying, they, been, they lying, I ain't took no first class fight. It's a warrant list to have. We didn't pay for the township um, conference. So the board had no choice but then to start making some extreme cuts to services. For instance, they started laying off employees because they simply couldn't pay them because there's no money. Hinyard has spent essentially all the money and they can't make payroll. Now, one of the people who were also put on administrative leave was the police chief and Hinyard's top bulldog, Chief Lacey. The trustees also plan to vote to place Dalton's deputy police chief, Lewis Lacey, on administrative leave, pending an investigation into what they call improper actions. Lacey accused of doing the mayor's bidding. He declined to comment on tonight's vote. So now some of Tenyard's closest confidants were also placed on a chopping block because they were given hookups by Hinyard to work for the village. Here is the director of housing who was given a hookup by Hinyard so he can have a nice cushy job and the village trustees fired him. And he didn't take it lying down. He got really, really, really upset. Here's what he had to say. I just want to uh, just share um, my name was on that list, and I can say as department heads, and you can celebrate that because my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. And I know that there's a lot of people here that go to church that have not gone to God. Mm. Let me let me admonish you. On, let me admonish this board. Now, as you can see, this meeting was pretty crazy. Now, two other things happened in this meeting that I think I need to just address. Number one, there was a 
police sign put in front of a building that they wanted to convert into a new police precinct. And the village of Dalton said they spent $50,000 on that police sign. Let's hear Tiffany Hinyard explain, or the police chief explain, how they spent $50,000 on a sign they put in front of the building declaring it's the police department. But as trustees, our goal is to look at finances and see how we can financially benefit. So at this moment, it's just costing us and costing us and costing us. Even that sign on it, that was about $50,000. We can't continue to spend money when we're here today trying to make a transfer just so we can pay the bills. It's unfair. It's, it's a, a lack of prioritizing. And it makes no sense. So the sign was $50,000 for a sign. But the man thinks that's okay because it came out of a different account. She really thinks it's okay to pay $50,000 for the sign. Here she is talking about it. And then also uh, when they purchased the sign, um, Chief Lacey, what account did it come out of? Because when they tell you stuff, they don't tell you where money come from, it what account, or how they was able to afford a sign and turn it into a police station. Now, if you could tell them um, how we pay for the sign. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, the sign was paid for out of asset forfeiture. We have a state and a yes. federal. Yeah. It was recently brought to one of my uh, commander's attention that said that our asset forfeiture was dried up. Our asset forfeiture is not dried up. We still utilize our asset forfeiture and money is still being put to asset forfeiture. Um, that being said, that's what that money was used for for that. So yeah, one sign, $50,000, and they think they're justified for a $50,000 sign, which is, again, insanity now this brings us to our final bombshell now last night when i was watching the board meeting i thought that hinyard had already fired keith freeman but that was not the case see keith freeman was hinyard's number two in thornton township and in dalton so he was essentially her number two running everything she's batman he's robin but then the feds hit freeman with a bankruptcy fraud indictment and Keith Freeman seeing the writing on the wall, he's in FBI subpoenas and everything. He then flipped on Hinyard. He flipped in Thornton and he flipped in Dalton, becoming a whistleblower, giving all of the documents needed to show what's actually going on behind the scene. So Hinyard fired Freeman from Thornton Township, but then attempted to fire from Dalton. But the issue with Dalton is Freeman is now a whistleblower. He's now exposing her corruption and now they can't fire him because you can't fire a whistleblower while the person is exposing corruption behind the scenes. That's why this news report says the trustees refused to fire Freeman at this time because technically he's flipped. He's a whistleblower now. After that, Henyard is planning to fire her top aide, Keith Freeman, who pleaded not guilty earlier this year to a bankruptcy fraud charge. Last month, Henyard fired him from Thornton Township, the other government she runs. But the trustees say they won't allow tonight's firing to happen because they say Freeman is doing the village's work and they now consider him to be a whistleblower. And those trustees say firing a potential whistleblower sets them up for yet another lawsuit. And that is something the village simply cannot afford. So Hinyard thought she saw an opportunity here. She now is saying that Freeman was secretly really working with the trustees to steal money from the village. So she put on the agenda the firing of Keith Freeman, knowing that Freeman is giving information to both the authorities and to the trustees about all the corruption that's going on behind the scenes. So she now puts it out in front of the trustees, hey, we're gonna fire Freeman and I want you guys to vote on it. And the trustees obviously refuse because they know that Hinyard is panicking. Going straight to uh, Keith Freeman. So, uh, Board of Trustees, what do you want to do? I have a question because you said he's terminated. So what? Why? Why are we? Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Because y'all always say because y'all always say that I don't come to y'all. Hold on. Let's let's we gonna play a little silly game right now. So I put it on the agenda because hold on because he got terminated already. But everybody inserted themselves in the business of the mayor, right? So everybody inserted themselves. They send letters out. They let him do all this little finicky stuff, send emails out to the staff, all kinds of stuff. He knows this. They all know that because they wrote their names on it. So 
They kept saying, you got to bring it to the board. You got to put it on the agenda. So what I do? It's on the agenda. So that's why I asked that. So why would you ask that redundant question of talking about why I'm asking y'all? You guys asked me to put it on the agenda. It is on the agenda because we wanted your input, your opinion, right? So it's on the agenda for your input and your opinion because you kept saying that you guys have to vote on it. Is that not what y'all kept saying? Y'all say y'all got to vote on it. So here we are. So, Board of Trustees, is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. There y'all got what, what we doing? Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? What we doing? Y'all gotta huddle up. Y'all gotta huddle up real quick. We're gonna take a three seconds. Hey. Hey. What we doing? You wanna what y'all wanna do? Y'all oh, y'all to talk about it and get it together yet? Yeah, doing signals across the room. What we doing? Y'all motion in here. What we doing? Y'all quiet. Y'all quiet as a church mouse, as I say. What, what's going on right now? Hi. No, I at 9:52 p.m. That's shine. That's a shine. So I'm gonna remember this because at the end of the day, I told you, you guys don't run the day today. The mayor does. So uh, Keith Freeman, I know you're watching. You no longer works for the village of Dalton. Uh, please uh, turn in your keys, turn in all your stuff. HR will reach out to you tomorrow as it relates to uh, your fire. So as you can see, Keith Freeman is fired. Henyard has fired him even though he is a whistleblower because obviously she's trying to stop the bleeding. As long as he keeps cooperating with the trustees and the authorities, he is a liability and she needs to stop him from continuing to do that. Now, join us Thursday at 6.30 because we get to see the Lightfoot report. She has spoken to these certified public accountants they have given her all of the village's finances so we get to see what's actually been going on for the past two years no more speculation no more innuendo we get to see the actual numbers and that's what the trustees have that's why they've had to do these layoffs and firings because they now know the real state of affairs so join us thursday to see what's going on with the hinyard situation and if you want to see my last Tiffany Hinyard video, click on this right here. My name is Ethel Loy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.